This is the silo. It extends for well over a hundred levels underground, houses roughly 10,000 people, and might very well be the last bastion of human civilization. No one seems to know who built it, or why everything outside the silo is as it is. But for anyone who, like us, is in the business of investigating alternate worlds, the silo is perhaps one of the most interesting and appealing in recent memory. Life within the silo, though not entirely unfamiliar, has been twisted and contorted by the suffocating grip of circumstance. People go to work, raise families, and carry out their daily rituals, but every fleeting moment is only a temporary respite from the relentless truth of their existence. This is all they know, and all they'll ever know. There are no prospects here for a better life, only the flickering hope that they can preserve the one they have. The silo itself reflects this grim reality. Every wall has in some way been stained, cracked, or scarred after potentially centuries of use. Walkways and alleys are similarly marred, and every surface is etched with the indelible marks of successive generations. They reveal a history of wear and decay, of stopgap solutions and makeshift repairs. It is a testament to the fortitude and resourcefulness of those who have struggled to maintain the silo, but also clear evidence of the hopelessness of their situation. Eventually something will fail, something beyond their ability to fix, and who knows what will happen then. The silo has all the markings of a truly memorable world, but what impresses me most is its sophistication, both in the society that governs it and the people who live there. Multiple times I believed I had things figured out, that I was smarter than the silo, and every single time I was completely wrong. This is a place far more complicated and intelligent than I initially gave it credit for. It has to be. In the silo, incompetence cannot survive for long. But what really cemented the silo in my mind is this window, or rather, this display that acts as a window, the only view of the outside world. Immediately, I thought I found the flaw. If there's a camera somewhere outside broadcasting the surrounding landscape, how could the lens possibly stay clean and the picture clear after so long? A lesser reality would have ignored this question, or provided some throwaway explanation. But the silo had an actual answer, and rather than an unimportant detail, how and why the lens is cleaned is foundational to their entire way of life, as it should be. This is, after all, their only view of the world outside the silo. But rather than explain it outright, a more thorough investigation can wait, I would instead encourage you to explore the silo for yourself. For now at least, it has the Templin Institute's coveted seal of approval. And if nothing else, there's a guy working down there who looks a lot like someone I spent some time with at Shawshank, and I consider that to be a very good sign. So I hope you'll consider joining us as we begin to investigate the silo. And if you do, I'll see you there. From the up top to the deep down.